York. Glad to be here. Where are you coming from today? Harlem, New York, 124th Street. Obviously, we go back quite a ways. I can definitely remember the first gig that we did. It takes a long time to get inside this music. I continue to try to improve at it, but I was feeling pretty scrambly in the early days. Now I feel like I at least have a few ideas about how to play it. Um, I'm wondering um, if you have any insights on your particular approach to playing in this band. I feel in my role that I have to treat certain parts of the music with one mindset and then bring in other, other bags, other skill sets as well. So there are definitely parts of the music where I feel like it needs to have a very composed drum beat. And then that will like morph into, okay, now there's a solo happening over that. I have to take that in and interact. That's the, you know, improvisatory element. There are parts that I just feel like my role is just to support, especially when some, something really big is happening that needs a lot of bottom. Those are some things I'm trying to do. <laughs> I can tell the moment you have truly kind of internalized what your approach is, we lock the aesthetic to the band and vice versa. Yeah, first run-throughs of pieces can be pretty rough. Developing an idea of how to play each piece is really essential for me. Take a little time, slow down with it a little, and try to put together a concept of what I think the drum should sound like. With your music, it definitely takes a while to learn how to play to my strengths. I think that's, that's when we're going to get to the most authentic realization of that music is when you are doing something that's authentic to yourself. Yeah, write for the players. I'm trying to write for unique improvisers to be unique improvisers. You have a really unique perspective. There's some long tracks that cover some real territory. I almost sometimes think of a favorite section, the very opening track, when all of a sudden the tempo drops and the whole band is playing um, all the figures together. Love that. I love the Barry solo on the first movement of I Can See My Country From Here. Andy sounds killing. The feel of that moment when that hits is, is great, I think. I think the whole last movement of that, I like the soprano solo on that, right? It's Felipe. Felipe? Yeah. Beautiful, and I like Mike's guitar solo as well. Who's playing trumpet on that? That's Pablo Messi's. Yeah, beautiful. So that's one of those tracks that covers so much ground. I like the violin concerto. Um, I think the last movement of that is especially impressive. Brook sounds great. Definitely fun to listen to. I know that it's hard to play, so it was fun. <laughs> I think I have more fun recording this stuff than almost anyone else because like, I really can't hear what's going on, probably more than almost anyone because the drums are just so loud and I'm one foot away from them. For me, it's like night and day, being able to block out my own sound and then dial up somebody else's sound. It's very different experience than playing it live. You know, we are billing this as a protest record. You know, I can hear a lot of frustration and anger in the music. I guess I know that that exists and I think I'm influenced by it. We recorded this before George Floyd and before summer of protests, but it definitely seems appropriately angry. I'd be interested to know if you've written any music since then, you know, over the summer about uh, unrest and the injustice in our country. I know that that's stuff that you think about a lot. I've sketched some things. They'll come out at a time when, when they're ready to be incorporated into probably something larger. How much of this record is about our last election? Most of it. The symphony is directly written about the election in process. Current events, do you feel like that's like the main driver for your creative process? It's not the only one. I don't experience the world around me one dimensionally, but I think that has been the outlet through which I express sort of my place in the world around me. Not everything is terrible. I definitely hear a lot of hope um, in the symphony, you know, especially those sections that really open up. There's room for the optimism, there's room for the hope, there's, you know, certainly room for the love. We live in complex times and we are complex people playing complex music. It's definitely complex music. <laughs> How about the vermouth? I continue to make sweet and dry vermouth and sell it. 
Seems like people need a drink these days. So Little City Vermouth, delicious New York State product. It's really great to see you, man. I miss you. Likewise. Yeah, seriously. We'll get back to it. It'd be fun to play with the band again whenever it is.